today. James Glick's Chaos, Making a New Science is a groundbreaking book that explores the complex world of chaos theory. The book is a captivating journey through the history, theory, and applications of chaos, which Glick introduces to readers with ease and insight. In this detailed summary, we will take a deep dive into the fascinating world of chaos, exploring the discoveries, personalities, and cultural significance of chaos theory. Part 1, The Butterfly Effect Chapter 1, The Butterfly Effect, A New Kind of Science In the opening chapter of Chaos, Making a New Science, James Glick introduces readers to the concept of chaos theory and its revolutionary implications for science. Glick begins by recounting the story of Edward Lawrence, a meteorologist who stumbled upon the discovery that would become the cornerstone of chaos theory. In 1961, Lawrence was using a primitive computer to model weather patterns when he made a startling observation, a tiny change in his input data led to a vastly different weather forecast. This phenomenon became known as the butterfly effect, named for the idea that the flapping of a butterfly's wings could ultimately cause a tornado halfway around the world. Chapter 2, Revolution In the second chapter of Chaos, Making a New Science, Glick delves deeper into the history of chaos theory, tracing its origins back to the early 20th century. Glick highlights the work of mathematicians like Henri Poincaré, who laid the groundwork for the study of non-linear systems, and Norbert Wiener, who developed the field of cybernetics. Glick also explores the cultural and political forces that shaped the early development of chaos theory, including the Cold War and the counterculture movement of the 1960s. Chapter 3, Lives Ups and Downs In Chapter 3 of Chaos, Making a New Science, Glick turns his attention to the applications of chaos theory beyond the realm of weather prediction. He explores the work of biologist Robert May, who used chaos theory to study the dynamics of populations, and the mathematician Mitchell Feigenbaum, who discovered a universal pattern in chaotic systems known as the Feigenbaum constant. Glick also examines the role of chaos theory in the study of the human heart, which exhibits chaotic behavior in certain pathological conditions. Chapter 4, Strange Attractors In the fourth chapter of Chaos, Making a New Science, Glick introduces readers to the concept of the strange attractor, a fundamental feature of chaotic systems. Glick explores the work of mathematicians like David Ruel and Flores Takens who developed the mathematical language necessary to describe strange attractors. He also examines the cultural significance of strange attractors, including their influence on the world of art and music. Part 2, The Lawrence Equations Chapter 5, Universality In Chapter 5 of Chaos, Making a New Science, Glick focuses on the Lorentz equations, the set of equations that Edward Lorentz used to model weather patterns. Glick explains how the Lorentz equations became a powerful tool for studying chaos, and how they revealed a universal pattern in chaotic systems. He also explores the work of mathematicians like James York, who developed the concept of chaos in a rigorous mathematical framework. Chapter 6, The Experimenter in the sixth chapter of Chaos, Making a New Science, Glick profiles the life and work of Edward Lawrence, the meteorologist who made the discovery that would become the foundation of chaos theory. Glick explores Lawrence's early life and education, as well as his experiences working in the field of weather prediction. He also delves into the impact that Lawrence's discovery had on the scientific community and the world at large, and how it led to the development of chaos theory as a new branch of science. Chapter 7, Strange Wisdom In Chapter 7 of Chaos, Making a New Science, Glick explores the philosophical implications of chaos theory. He argues that chaos theory challenges our traditional notions of order and predictability and forces us to confront the inherent complexity and unpredictability of the natural world. Glick also examines the cultural and literary significance of chaos theory, including its influence on postmodernism and the works of authors like Jorge Luis Borges and Italo Calvino. Chapter 8, 
the Dynamical Systems Collective. In the final chapter of Chaos, Making a New Science, Gluck profiles the group of mathematicians and scientists who made significant contributions to the development of chaos theory in the 1970s and 1980s. Gluck explores the work of figures like Mitchell Feigenbaum, who discovered the Feigenbaum constant, and Benoit Mandelbrot, who pioneered the field of fractal geometry. He also examines the cultural and political context in which the Dynamical Systems Collective operated, including the rise of Reaganomics and the impact of the computer revolution. Conclusion Chaos Making a New Science is a masterful work of popular science that introduces readers to the complex and fascinating world of chaos theory. James Glick's engaging prose and insightful analysis make the book accessible to readers of all backgrounds and levels of expertise. Glick explores not only the science of chaos theory, but also its historical, cultural, and philosophical significance. Through the stories of the scientists and thinkers who developed and applied chaos theory, Gluck offers a compelling and illuminating glimpse into the workings of a new science that has transformed our understanding of the natural world. Beyond its scientific and philosophical implications, Chaos, Making a New Science is a book that invites readers to embrace complexity and uncertainty in all aspects of life. Gluck shows us that chaos theory is not just a tool for understanding the natural world, but a way of thinking about the world that can be applied to everything from business to politics to personal relationships. By revealing the hidden patterns and structures that emerge from seemingly chaotic systems, chaos theory offers a new way of seeing the world and our place in it. One of the most compelling aspects of chaos Making a new science is the way in which Glick portrays the scientists and mathematicians who developed chaos theory as human beings with their own quirks, flaws, and idiosyncrasies. Glick does not shy away from describing the personal and professional conflicts that arose between these brilliant minds, but he also celebrates their shared passion for understanding the world in a new way. By humanizing these figures, Glick shows us that science is not a sterile, objective pursuit, but a deeply human endeavor that is shaped by the social and historical context in which it arises. Overall, Chaos, Making a New Science is a thought-provoking and deeply engaging book that has stood the test of time as a classic work of popular science. Its insights into the nature of complexity and the limits of predictability continue to resonate with readers today and its influence can be seen in everything from the field of artificial intelligence to the study of complex systems in the social sciences. Whether you are a scientist, a philosopher, or simply a curious reader, Chaos, Making a New Science is a book that will challenge and inspire you in equal measure. Are you ready to dive into the thrilling world of chaos theory? Chaos. Making a New Science by James Glick is a must-read for anyone who wants to explore the mysteries of the natural world and challenge their preconceptions about order and predictability. Glick's masterful storytelling and insightful analysis will leave you with a newfound appreciation for the hidden patterns and structures that emerge from even the most seemingly chaotic systems. Whether you are a scientist, a philosopher, or simply a curious reader, chaos. Making a New Science is a book that will expand your mind and change the way you see the world. Click the link in the description to order your copy today and start your journey into the fascinating world of chaos theory.